Last time in Generation Gap, we compared a pair of Corvettes. Guess what? The split window rocked it. I guess you've got to drive the Z06 to appreciate it. Evidently. But I've got a treat for you today. Do you? This is David. He spends his days hunting down hard to find classic car parts for Haggerty clients. And his nights wrenching on his two Chevelles, David firmly believes that nothing worth owning was built after 1974. This is Matt. He drives his custom-tuned 2011 Mitsubishi Evo. His passion is connecting with car enthusiasts around the world as Haggerty's social media analyst. And Matt is convinced that cars don't have to be old to be great. In each episode, we pick a category, they choose their favorites, and you decide who comes out on top. This episode, we're talking performance coupes. I'm Matt. And I'm David. And today we've brought some performance coupes. So two doors, four seats, and a lot of scoop. Just for you, I've brought a 95 BMW M3. And just for me, I brought a 1965 Dodge Coronet 500. You just get everything you want, don't you? Not everything. All right. Well, let's see. Show the specs. The 1965 Dodge Coronet. This was the first year for the fifth generation of Coronet, and it was the most popular model sold by Dodge in 1965. Starting with a 3D3 engine and a four-speed manual transmission. Upgrades include an aluminum intake, electronic ignition, and a Mopar Performance purple shaft camshaft. These upgrades push this Coronet to 350 horsepower. This is the 1995 BMW M3. This vehicle brings BMW's motorsports technologies to the street. With a 3 liter, 183 cubic inch engine, this M3 is tuned to 280 horsepower with an ECU flash, cold air intake, performance exhaust, front and rear strut bars, and an adjustable coilover suspension. All right, Matt, why did you pick this? This is the motorsports version of the 3 Series. This has performance suspension, rear wheel drive, 5 speed manual, but it's German. Yeah, because the Germans are known for their terrible engineering. <laughs> So we've got some red Dodge. This is a 65 Coronet. This is the family car that dad didn't want to sacrifice into a wagon. I got four on the floor. I got a big American V8. It makes noise. Unlike oh, this will make noise. That. It makes a growly noise and not a buzz. And <laughs> this car has some modifications of the day. American racers. Screams 1960s. Little modification underneath the hood. Some beautiful Mickey Thompson fin valve covers. This has a few tasteful upgrades of its own. Okay. You might have noticed it's a little lower than normal. It's got the cold air intake. There is an ECU tune on it. We've got some exhaust work done. But it's yellow. It's yellow. All right, so another Fast and Furious car. Beautiful. It'll corner. It's going to need to corner quickly to catch up to this. I thought you said performance. This is a Dodge. That's right. And Dodge is a verb. It's not a noun. So that means movement, buddy. So I'm assuming somewhere along the lines, the modification made to this car is a switch for the rocker panel neons that I see the kids riding around in. There's no crap in this car. <laughs> this well, car was built just for performance. There's no extra blinking lights or fuzzy dice or any of that crap. Okay, good. This is going to surprise you. I it's hope it surprises not me. What because, you go to pick up kids from soccer. All right. You think this thing's going to be quiet? Yeah. Well, listen. I like a cat quiet. Got a little throat. If you're going to be able to start this thing, is it going to be one of those potato, potato, potato? Oh, potato? you're going to know this baby starts up when it's running. Right. Now, I might say, oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 when we first start, <laughs> because that's the way Chrysler starters are, but... You wait. You wait and listen. Listen to me. I'm listening. Right. It sounds like it should. Feel that rumble. Sound good. Holds pretty well too. This 
actually has the really long shift. I see that. Option. I feel like I'm rowing a boat. It's okay. First gear's up by the dash, second gear somewhere in the back seat. <laughs> That's all right. Right. <laughs> This is a really quiet car, man. Is it still running? It's loud when it needs to be. Is it still running? You're right, this is no good. That well, was pretty nice. RPMs are good. Anyone who tells you otherwise drives an electric car. Yes. Probably eats Brussels sprouts. <laughs> They're the kind of people who eat the food that my food eats. So look at that, you're getting 40 miles a gallon right there. I can see how that'd be positive. turned into schnitzel. Drum brakes, drum brakes, <laughs> drum brakes, <laughs> drum brakes. <laughs> drum brakes. <laughs> Sliding on through. It, it actually it does ride a lot better than I expect. Um, yeah. There is a proper way to lower a car. Heating up springs with a blowtorch, not the right way to lower a car. No. satisfying about the stick shift shaking with the engine. That it's is right sticking out the of train. the top of the trans. That's right. And yeah, Dodge lever right there. He wants to hear it go by. It grumbles. Oh, yeah, it's got it's power. Yes. It's fun. It's too big for my garage. Well, you need a bigger garage. <laughs> you don't need a bigger garage for this. I do not. And that has power. Ultimate driving machine. Ah, that's propaganda. But it's got a nice growl now. It's, a it's got a nice stance with the tires and the rims. Mm -hmm. The outside looks really good. The interior was nice in the car. It's comfy. I, the seats are a little hard for me. I like the soft, cushier seats. Yeah. Although they are buckets, so that's a plus. You're getting old, I understand. You want your soft well, you seats. Know. You know, you need a donut, maybe. <laughs> no donut. <laughs> the only donuts go right here, buddy. <laughs> and I, I see. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> We're I'm out. I mean, think about it. The guy at the stop sign waited for us to go so he could hear the car. To me, this is a, the same look BMW has always had. I it's think It's evolved. So. It's and why nose. would you change your look if you look great? I guess, that's true. I mean, if one hairstyle works, why change it, right? You're living proof. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, from a two-door performance coupe. They both fit the bill. They fit the bill. I think they this do very well. This is performance, rumbly, make you happy, go straight, fast. This is go through the corners fairly comfortably and stable. At idle, it's a zero. There is <laughs> zero idle. I mean, there's You're zero. You're right. <laughs> I mean, You're also not doing this. Well, no, I mean, that keeps idle. you awake. It's like a back massager all <laughs> the right. same time. You know, those are expensive features in new cars. 
Okay, so let's see how they stack up. All right, let's see. Looks. It looks fabulous. This looks like a normal 3 Series, except mm -hmm. it's got the little treatments to make it an M. But barely a big M. That's a big M. That's this a is Mopar. a big M Mopar. Okay, I get it. This is a better looking car. Performance. This thing goes through the corners. It comes out of the corners. It does, but there's no feel to the corner. You don't feel like you're going, there's no roll around the corner. The roll is terrible. You want to stay flat. You want to stay connected. You don't want to go sideways. Why not? Sideways is fun. Sideways is fun, but it's inefficient. I'm taking both points. Okay, Matt. Collectability. You have one big mountain to climb here, buddy. This is very, I get it. Okay. This is very attainable. It's a lot of power. It's a lot of fun, but is it enough to hold on for the next 30 years? I don't know. Yeah, I don't think so. All right, David. This parts easy, right? No, actually, Matt, they are not. You are not right. Parts are, t are hard for this. They did not have the volume of Ford and Chevy. There's a smaller group of these out there, but a very loyal group. So when you find that little cluster of parts, there are going to be a lot of them, but it's finding that group of parts that make, will make this car frustrating from a person that's not in a, let's say, a club. Okay. Now the BMW has no club. There's a club for BMW. <laughs> it says so right on the side. It's available. Yes. But it's expensive. Yes. And, and that it's would be frustrating. Probably a little harder to work on the engine of this thing than to work on the oh, engine of that. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, it's American. It's American. You can sit under the hood <laughs> of this one and work on it. Both of us could sit underneath the hood of this one. <laughs> yeah. I don't think any either of us. No. Passion, heart and soul. I love that thing. This is the motorsports. This has a tradition in motorsports. People look for these things. People love these things. I will say this, it is understated. It is underexpected, but I don't think it has the passion as the Dodge Corona has right out of the box. And I happen to know that you have wanted a big Mopar. I've wanted one of them for forever. a while. <laughs> yes. I, I would dig the hell out of that car. So it looks like we're split. Yeah, you'll take your car, I'll take mine. Fair enough. Okay, so the Mopar pulled ahead a little no, by one way silly little there. point that really doesn't matter. Oh, it matters. Okay, well, after all, what matters is what you think. So click the link below, tell us which one you like better. <laughs> we really appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time.